Wednesday, March 3rd. Thought for the day. After we've made a surrender, the drink problem is out of our hands and in the hands of God. The thing we have to do is to be sure that we never reach out and take the problem back into our own hands. Leave it in God's hands. Whenever I'm tempted to take a drink, I must say to myself, I can't do that. I've made a bargain with God not to drink. I know God doesn't want me to drink and so I won't do it. At the same time I say a little prayer to God for the strength needed to keep the bargain with Him. Am I going to keep my bargain with God? Meditation for the day. I will try to grow in this new life. I will think of spiritual things often and unconsciously I will grow. The nearer I get to the new life, the more I will see my unfitness. My sense of failure is a sure sign that I am growing in the new life. It is only struggle that hurts. In sloth, physical, mental, or spiritual, there is no sense of failure or discomfort. With struggle and effort, I am conscious not of strength but of weakness until I am really living the new life. But in the struggle, I can always rely on the power of God to help me. Prayer for the day. I pray that I may see signs of my growth in the new life. I pray that I may always keep trying to grow. God calling. Grow like me. Think of me. Look at me often, and unconsciously you will grow like me. You may never see it. The nearer you get to me, the more will you see your unlikeness to me. So be comforted, my children. Your very deep sense of failure is a sure sign that you are growing nearer to me. And if you desire to help others to me, then that prayer desire is answered. Remember, too, it is only struggle that hurts. In sloth, spiritual or mental, or physical, there is no sense of failure or discomfort, but with action, with effort, you are conscious not of strength but of weakness, at least at first. That again is a sign of life, of spiritual growth. And remember, my strength is made perfect in weakness.